Good evening, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is May 22nd, 2024. Here is another daily analysis. All right, we just got NVIDIA earning announcement and the stock just beat the expectations, both uh, earning and revenue and skyrocket above a 1,000. And that's going to be new all-time high. Fantastic uh, move for NVIDIA. It's going to uh, drag up everything in semiconductor industries as well. So we will have a look at those charts as well, but uh, S&P 500, a daily chart. Um, we just got a consolidation here, just uh, going down, uh, back test this uh, bottom here, uh, very, very uh, short-term trading session. It just uh, going back up after hours, uh, going uh, close at uh, 53.18. So right now we should just uh, give market benefit of doubt, especially for, Tomorrow, we can see some kind of like a uh, moving to the upside. But as I said, if market goes back down for whatever reason um, to this area, that's going to be a perfect buying opportunity, which is going to be just a minor correction. I believe that uh, more than uh, 100 uh, points. I don't see any uh, more than that. So probably 50 to uh, 20. Uh, that's going to be kind of like the area that I'm just uh, looking at. And also 52. Uh, zero four. That's going to be the area that I'm just uh, looking at as well. So between this area, if market goes down here, that's going to be a perfect scenario for a buying opportunity. However, market is very, very overstretched, overbought in a weekly time frame as well. So we just need to see some kind of like a pullback, like a two to three percent uh, correction. That's going to be kind of like a healthy for a market. Moving on to. Uh, NASDAQ, which was kind of like a positive new all-time high, especially after hours, it just gapped up uh, due to NVIDIA earnings open at a new all-time high. Right now, 18,778. So NASDAQ can go all of it up to uh, 20,000. That's kind of like my level for this year. I just updated my level, but any pullback to let's say 18,400, that's gonna be kind of like, as I said, a great opportunity as well. It's like the same as S&P 500, that's gonna be a great uh, buying opportunity if it gives us uh, some corrective move to the downside. Moving on to US 30, which is Dow. Dow open up as well. So uh, Dow is uh, heading to the lower price as the banking sectors are actually just hammered and also energy uh, going down as well. So um, we just got to the first uh, demand area here, but I believe that the second demand area is going to be somewhere around 38,000, 39,000. So that's going to be the level that I'm looking for. If Dow goes lower, that would be kind of like a perfect scenario for a next rally to the upside. So uh, again, wait and see. Uh, there is no guarantee for that sharp pullback, but any pullback to 38 to 39,000 area, which is gonna be uh, 600 downside, that's gonna be the scenario that I'm looking at. Moving on to gold. Uh, gold uh, just uh, going down today, hammered today. It's kind of like a showing the weakness as well. So we'll see some kind of like a, a divergence here between this top, this top, and this top in MACD, as you see here, and also the um, RSI just confirming between these two tops. So we are kind of like a see gold is coming back down. I don't see any kind of like a pivoting this area. It can just uh, give us kind of like if it gives us a higher low, somewhere around a 23 to 2350, that's gonna be the perfect scenario for a next buying opportunity, all of it back up to new all time high, which is gonna be 2490 to 2500 that's the scenario that i'm looking at um that's going to be in gold and also silver as well silver just a smash down today as well going down sharply after tweezer top last two days um it's just going down sellers to control the entire session silver can go down actually to this demand area. interesting level 29 to 29 88, that's going to be the level that I'm looking at as a good kind of like a buying opportunity. Still, uh, stick tight, be patient because opportunity is coming. And uh, you know that I'm kind of like a bull in those uh, precious metals, but still, uh, we need to see some kind of like a confirmation. Crude is coming down today. Uh, believe it or not, crude is just heading to the lower price if it goes below this shadow. That's going to be ugly because a crude seems like doesn't follow this 76. And if it goes 
below 76, 75, it's going to pave its way for a great buying opportunity potential here 69 as, as a double bottom, or it can go lower. Actually, I have lower on my chart. It can go all the way down to 61 to 65 because that's kind of like the acceleration we can expect from crude. If that happens, this means yield is going to go down dramatically. So that's going to be the potential scenario for the next market rally to the upside. And that's going to give us kind of like a hope for June bottom in crude. So that's my cycle. Um, based on my cycle, June is going to be a month for crude bottom. It, it can be just in within that uh, next 30 days. So whatever level comes first, we will take it and we will take it as a good buying opportunity. Moving on to individual names, starting with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down today. Um, just thousand level coming down 69,000 goes below 70. I believe that this is just a pullback before a next rally. And the Bitcoin um, can be kind of like a sensitive to bond yield as well. Ethereum coming down today after uh, last two days surge, it's just coming down just slightly to test this. Have it here and then rejecting bounce back up nicely as well. So this is kind of like the technical level that uh, we were waiting for. It's just uh, going down, test this level, test this flag limit, and then getting back up. So if it just consolidate here, this means the next new all-time high is coming with an Ethereum. Moving on to bond yield. Bond yield just going higher today. So it's kind of like a interesting when you see bond yield is up. And... Um, uh, uh, and sorry, and crude is down. And also, uh, interesting thing is, uh, we'll see it has a like inverse correlation with precious metals as well. And this one just put pressure on gold and silver. So as I said, I don't see any like a major higher high. I believe that's going to be the next lower high is happening with a bond yield, which is uh, precious metals bottom as well. So. Charts are talking to each other. Moving on to treasury, inverse correlation with yield, but today we just got a positive. This means treasury hold up very well, and this is kind of like the scenario that I'm looking at for the next rally to this important pivot, 95 to 97. That's the area that I'm looking at for short term. Moving on to weeks, adjust the hiccup today and bounce back up 3% but just a faded after $12 at $12.50. So yield, uh, VIX is kind of like a waking up as it is very, very important technical level here. You will see that whenever we get here, we're pretty close to that area. We'll see a stock market top and VIX is bottom. Dixie optic today, um, it's kind of like a following up with bond yield. And also this is kind of like a trend line that we see here. However, this is not a strong action. We should see some kind of like getting above this 105, 106 area to make sure that DC is going to just start going with the higher high. But I don't think that's going to happen. I believe that we are going to shape a kind of like a higher, uh, lower high and then back test this trend line, which is a bearish pattern. And if it goes down, we're going to see a lower dollar down the road, which happens potentially this summertime. Dollar is going to get weaker and weaker. I'm moving on to technology names. A magma indicator, just the consolidating here at all time high. Apple down tick today, dollar 45 cents. This is the important area. And this is the area that we were waiting for Apple uh, to get here. But right now it's just a technical reaction. I don't see any kind of like a major pullback if it goes down potentially to this 186. Then we can see some kind of like a bottom. If you see the bottom, this means this is just a pullback and next rally is coming down the road. Moving on to Amazon, two cents down today. Nothing special today. Meta, $3.15 up. Pretty kind of like I should say flat these days, Meta. Uh, Microsoft uh, heading into new all-time high, new closing all-time high today, 430. So Microsoft, even after hours, is just going higher as well. And Google, dollar 47 cents down. After hours, it just that took a hit as well. So it is in uh, kind of like at new all-time high. So what do you expect? Pullback, backing, I'm feeling, getting back to the bullish momentum. Netflix, uh, 
$10 down today, even after hours, it goes lower. Tesla, 4% uh, 4 almost, uh, 3.50% to the downside, 180. Tesla needs to go above 189, 190. So ideally 200, then we, sh we shall see the bullish momentum is coming with Tesla. Moving on to Rockstar after hours, SMH, Semiconductor Index, Due to NVIDIA earning, after hours, they hit new all-time high, 241 right now. And this is kind of like the bullish consolidation breakout we saw yesterday. Uh, but this is pretty interesting and neat. Sox, the same pattern here. Didn't get into new all-time high, but pretty close to double top. High one semiconductor, just like getting higher as well. New all-time high, 161 AMD. Nice move to the upside after hours as well. Um, 86 cents up today, and after hours, it goes back up to 168, I believe 133, 183 is coming down the road. NVIDIA, the booster for today, uh, $1,006 right now, trading, um, beat the expectations nicely, and NVIDIA just going back into new all-time high. This is a bullish consolidation. So don't be surprised if you see NVIDIA just uh, um, open optic to, uh, tomorrow, going all the way up to 1,020, 1,030, and then sharp sell off after that. So it just happened uh, many times when NVIDIA goes to new all-time high, sellers just to control. Here is the scenario, here is the scenario, here is the scenario, here is the scenario. And don't be surprised after like a sharp move to new all-time high, sharp sell off is coming after that. But we will see if it's going to be double top and, and pattern and going down, or it can be just the new all time high as well. Texas Instrument, fantastic move to the upside. $202. I believe Texas can go all the way 220, 225 this summertime. That would be kind of like, I should say, ceiling for Texas. Lamb Research, $1.77 up today. Another bad price action after hours. It just went higher as well. Moving on to banking sector. XLF, 24 cents down today. KBE, 51 cents down today. As I said, these ones are kind of like uh, shaky and uh, overdue for correction. KRE, 61 cents down today. GIP Morgan, dollar 21 cents down. This one is forming a bearish consolidation, if you ask me, for a next sell-off down the road here, potentially to this area, 167. 164 to 172. Goldman Sachs, $8 down today as well. And Bank of America was the only positive name, I believe, 11 cents up. And Wells Fargo coming down 53 cents down as well. So banking sector, they are due for correction. They're doing their correction. Let them do their things. And we will get back to those names as well. Moving on to GDX, which is a gold miner ETF, $1.48 down today, 4% down, hammered today. And this is kind of like at the beauty of technical analysis. Uh, we were mentioning about these levels and I was I was kind of like a dollar, 50 point, uh, 50 cents off actually, um, $38 almost. That was my target. It just again, went all the way up to 37.50-ish and then coming back down. Um, Right now, 35. I believe this consolidation, there are lots of supports here for a next rally. So gold miners are due for correction. Let them do correction and then coming back up after that. GDXJ, the same pattern here, 4.40% down. AEM, $2.11 uh, down. Newmont, $1.65 down. Franco Nevada, $3.87 down. And also gold barrack coming down as well. So 51 cents down. All of them are due for corrective move. Let them do their things. Uh, they will get back to bullish rally as well. So June is going to be the period. I believe they are just forming the bottom as well. XLE, which is Spider Energy, $1.80 down. I believe this is still within this range for a bull flag. And XOP, oil and gas exploration ETF, the same pattern here. That was kind of like a false breakout. It's just going down. Uh, there is a still a chance getting to 144. OIH at $11.77 down. So um, this is pretty interesting. It's just uh, going down as well. And um, I believe still there is going to be opportunity to 299.308. 
Exxon uh, coming down as well, $2.37 down. Chevron, $2.40 down as well. So Chevron is down. Exxon is down. All energy names are down. So potentially, uh, they're going to follow up with crude, actually. They can go lower uh, where crude is heading to 61.65. That's going to be a perfect buying opportunity within those names. All right. I believe I covered everything. I have lots of researchers actually uh, looking at different charts. Uh, potentially, I will come up with comprehensive update this weekend. So that's the promise for, for you folks. And um, uh, and, and and I will have like a two videos this weekend uh, to cover the cycles for different sec sectors and also different charts as well. So we will have like a nice comparison in one video and I'm going to show it to you. Where are we at? Where are we heading to? How we should keep ourselves in, in the stocks and which sectors actually are going to outperform better. Have a fantastic evening. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.